this moment is total absence. There is really no person. It's just the presence, just presence. It's just pure, borderless presence. Just this perception, this experience that is borderless. Not the image itself. The image itself, you could say, well, it's limited. There is a wall here, a wall there. But the, the consciousness, the awareness, that's not limited. And it's not a form. It's whatever hears and perceives these words. That's not a form. That's not an object. It's not an object. It's not perceived. And yet you cannot deny it. You cannot deny presence, beingness, the I am, consciousness. You cannot deny that there are no borders to it. Where do you find any border? Which direction will you go? What's the direction? What will pick a direction? Is it not some thought that says this direction, that direction, this direction? So you rest as that, you rest as the presence, as the being, as a relationship is from that. Relationship is that, is that resting presence that's open, that's available, it's intelligent. There are relationships also that are just common interests. You know, you might have a, you might like a theater and have a really a partner that also shares your interests, and then you you have a relationship among, along with a certain interest, a certain passion. That's you might like traveling with somebody, and you must have a relationship with shared a shared passion for traveling, exploring the world. But all along, as soon as you separate yourself, there is the yearning to come back home. home is not a place or a certain experience. It's the consciousness, the awareness, the presence, the peace. It's uh, unmoved, unstirred by anything. Yes, yes, but that you follow. In, in, in another, we are seeking happiness. In a certain experience, in a certain relationship, we are seeking happiness, love and happiness, peace, love and happiness, understanding, tranquility, sweetness.
So what we love is that, is the sweetness, the freedom, the love, the openness. The, yeah, you can recognize that, that that's what really what you love. Not a man or a woman or some experience. It's the, the love, the freedom, the joy, the peace, the tranquility, the, the infinity, the tranquility. So that's, that's what you say yes to, that's what you are open to, that's what you offer, that's what you live. You are that borderless presence. that speaks these words, that hears these words. That's the heart, that's home. That's the love that you seek. That's the, the light. that draws all hearts to it. You are that, the source, the source, the core, it all comes to you to find the peace. some lacking me. Isn't it? That spring, the fresh spring, the source. So that the entire world can travel and hydrate themselves from the source. fulfill their thirst. Not some body-mind experience. There a time it doesn't, they're okay. Not a problem. But that's not what you are. notion of needing to sort things out and identify what's peace, what's not peace, <coughs> what's the source that is, what's the source of, of non-peace, <coughs> and then as we sit here, that becomes unimportant, just kind of <coughs> everything dissolves, 
some of the human sources of conflict that's evolved becomes the only thing to do. Just deepening and falling into that. There is, there is no doing and dissolving. There is a, a noticing of the dissolving. And the noticing that whatever arises is uh, sub its substance is the presence and the emptiness and the stillness, its very substance, its molecular structure is space, its substance is space, its source is space, its destination is space, which we refer to as dissolution, dissolving. All structures, all seeming structures, their substance is emptiness. The molecular structure is emptiness. When you go to the core of every arising, of every substance, of every manifestation, you come on to source, which is pure presence, not a form, not a thing. You can refer to it as emptiness, but it's, a, it's an aware, awake emptiness that calls everything onto it and creates everything from it, from itself. Creator, conceiver, creator, perceiver, dissolver. So tell me about the struggle or what perpetuates the sense of struggle that creates the separation. There is really no struggle. From the real perspective, which is a perspective of presence and consciousness, of truth, of reality, there is no struggle. So when you are on the surface of the, of the ocean in a raft or a sailboat, it feels choppy. Because you are that sailor on the on the sailboat, but that sailboat is, and and the sailor. arise in your dream. They arise in your dream. As uh, thoughts and sensations and energetic, energetic vibrations throughout the field but the field is infinity, so a vibration within infinity and from when you look at the the, the night sky, you see a galaxy and it feels so so gigantic, but once you look through the Hubble space telescope. It